Hey everybody, Chris Shoup here, and I just came across an article called 10 Flexible Work Opportunities for the Digital Nomad on Rev.com, and I, uh, the article had some ideas that I haven't shared before. You know, I've talked a lot about work opportunities as a digital nomad, but it had some, has some ideas that I haven't talked about before, so I thought that I would go through it. Um, to be perfectly fair, this isn't really a uh, digital nomad all the way because some of these work opportunities are something that you do on site physically while you're traveling. So you're not working from a computer. So technically you're not a digital nomad. You're just a regular nomad, I guess. But anyway, um, if you want to travel and your goal is to travel, then, then, you know, these are things that you might want to consider as well. So I'll go through them and I'll give you my thoughts. So uh, you could be a pet sitter. That's something that a lot of people need. You could go, you could stay in someone's house for free and you get paid to, well, depending on the situation, you get paid to look after their cats or dogs or all things furry, <laughs> to use the author's parlance. So there's a site, Pet, City, Pet Sitters International, PetSit.com, or TrustedHouseSitters.com, where you can find people that need pet sitters. You can do a work trade program, which is kind of the same thing, except it's not, it's not just for uh, pet sitters, it's for all sorts of things. I was looking through it a little bit. There's a site called workaway.info where you can, some people need, uh, need help with, with renovating their house or some people need help with looking after their pets or, or nannying, etc. So that's another option. I would be a little bit wary of that, especially if you're a woman, just because you don't really know what you're getting yourself into. You're, you're exchanging some work for, uh, for, somebody who you've never met before in a, in a foreign country, you don't know if they want you to basically be their slave. <laughs> so um, there is like a rating system on the site, so that will help somewhat, but um, I would be kind of careful with that. But it's an option for sure. You can work as a trans transcriptionist. That is that you will take, you will create written versions. You will, you will uh, make the text from videos or from audios. And uh, this is a good one that I hadn't thought of before, but uh, I've actually hired people to do this myself. I've hired transcriptionists, like I'll make a video and then I want to sell an audio version of whatever the video is about. And I just, instead of sitting there myself and taking all that time, I'll just hire someone else to do it. So that's another thing you could do. You probably don't make very much money doing that. Uh, I would venture to guess just because it's such an easy job. But, um, you know, if you don't really need a huge budget, then you could consider that. You could become a virtual tutor. I've talked about teaching English before. There are people that will pay you pretty good money to teach English, but you can actually teach all sorts of stuff. You can teach math or science or foreign language, whatever it is. And you can, you can it says you can get $20 an hour or higher. Um, the one caveat to that is that you have to get students, right? Most of the time, you aren't just going to get students handed to you. You got to find them yourself, or you got to track them, or you make a website listing and you hope that they come to you. So, it's not exactly reliable income, but it's worth a try. You know, if you're good at, especially if you're good at something that not a lot of people are good at, maybe you can tutor in calculus, for example. You know, there there aren't that many people that are good enough at calculus to be comfortable doing that. So probably you could get students. So that's an option. Uh, be a customer service representative. I've talked about this before. A lot of companies are hiring remote customer service representatives, including Amazon, Best Western, and Hilton. So that's a pretty nice option. Some of those will not like the idea of you traveling outside of the country. Um, so that's something you have to consider. You might have to get a VPN and a uh, phone number spoofer if that's even possible. You know, maybe they have they have preventions against against that, depending on what the company is and what their what tech systems they're running. But that's definitely something to look into. And here's some staffing companies that will that will help you get those jobs: AccessStaffing.com, VIPDeskConnect.com, and Converges.com. And I will link to this article below, by the way, so that you can see the original article and you can see all these links. Uh, you can build an e-commerce shop. I've talked about that. This isn't really a job. This is you selling and getting paid. So um, I really like this. You know, I've, I've done it a tiny bit in the past. I don't really focus on it, but it's something that can make you a lot of money. And, um, you know, that, that to me is a big deal because a lot of these things you might have noticed are like very low income things. And, you know, it, it gets worse as the list goes on. I'll, 
I'll be upfront with you about that. A lot of the digital nomad advice that you'll hear from people is all focused on uh, traveling on the cheapest possible budget, which I don't like so much. I, I don't really care for the idea of going to a, you know, going to a, a travel to foreign countries so that you can you can uh, live as a third world peasant. <laughs> to me, that's that's not the point, but. You know, I, I will mention these anyway, just in case if that's what you want to do. If you really, really, really want to travel and you're willing to travel under the most meager circumstances, then that is in fact an option. You can work as a virtual assistant. That's just kind of doing everything that somebody needs on a computer. Um, I hire a virtual assistant myself. Virtual assistants do not make very much money, but it's usually pretty easy work. If you if you have some specialized skills, probably you could charge more as a digital as a virtual assistant. Um, I've considered having a virtual assistant to, to edit and upload all my YouTube videos, for example. So if you have a skill like that, then probably you can charge a little more. And be an English teacher, we talked about that. Become a woofer. Woofer stands for Worldwide Opportunities on Organic Farms. So in other words, you travel the world and work as a farmhand and in exchange for uh, housing, food, and other tangible resources. So you go to other countries and work on a farm to barely subsist. <laughs> to me, that sounds horrible, but if that's what you're into, then go for it. Anyway, that's uh, www.oof.net if you want to go do a hard labor on a farm in order to, you know, I don't think they pay hardly anything. They pay your food and lodging, so you're basically a servant. <laughs> but if you want to do it, go for it. Make money as a freelancer. I've talked a lot about that, so I won't talk about it anymore. You can do it through freelancing platforms like Upwork, which is very difficult and very low paid, so I don't really recommend that, or directly through your own website and outreach efforts, which I think is a much better idea. And so that's it. That's everything here. I just wanted to share this because I wanted to, uh, to give you this knowledge that in order to travel the world, uh, you're, you're no bad, you're no bad, nomadness, nomadism, I don't know what you call it, uh, doesn't have to be digital, right? You can, you can do things around the world for other people. If you have a profession that will, that will work for that, then yeah, you can work for other people around the world in their physical locations. And there, there's other ways to do this too. Um, I was, I was talking to a guy a few weeks ago who draws little like caricature pictures of people that he sees in public squares and he sells those. Right, you could do that anywhere. It's not from a computer, so it's not technically a digital nomad job, but he can travel wherever he wants because he can make pictures of people and sell them. Same thing if you're a musician, for example. That's something I'd considered before. You can play music in a public square and uh, and get tips, or maybe even get gigs, get like go on tour. Right, a lot of people do that. So if you're an artist or a, or a musician of some sort, then Chances are you could figure out some way to do something like that. So that's it for today. I hope that gives you some ideas. If you have some other ideas that I had not considered, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you like this video, please subscribe, hit the little bell icon so that you get the notifications and hit the thumbs up to show me you appreciate it. Thanks guys, have an awesome night.